There are two incident scenes that we have. One previous to here involved the red truck that was in the collision. That red truck, the occupants of that got into some kind of altercation with people in a black SUV. Uh, at some point during that altercation, the people in the black SUV started shooting at the people in the red truck, and the people in the red truck fled that scene. As they were fleeing that scene, they ran the red light at the intersection behind us and struck the white passenger car that was coming down uh, Winter Chapel Road. The person in the white passenger car died on some scenes as a result of the injuries sustained in the collision. There was a female occupant of the red truck that fled the scene, a juvenile that was in the red truck that was transported to an area hospital for treatment, and then the driver of the red truck that was detained and spoke with police. The condition of the child I don't know yet, uh, and I don't have any information on the person that fled the scene. What led to the altercation, things of that nature are still being pieced together by investigators and detectives as they work together, speaking to the occupant or the driver of the red truck. So you're still looking for that black SUV and the driver? The black SUV and the people involved with that, I don't have any information on that. We are still looking for them. If they have their side of the story, if anybody has any information on that, we would love to have that. And the people in the red truck, do you know family members or friends? I don't know what their relation was uh, exactly. Uh, trying to find out what the relation was between the driver, the person that was in that red truck that fled the scene, and the child. I don't believe the child was connected directly by a uh, family relation to the driver. I don't have any information on that. Uh, I haven't seen them. I'm sure investigators will look into that or any, uh, to see if that's around. And the exact location of the other scene, I don't know where that happened. It just happened uh, north of here, uh, and the red truck was coming down the access road when he ran the red light and struck the white vehicle. How fast were these cars going? I don't have a speed calculation on that. To be able to put the speed together on that, uh, you have to be able to get uh, the momentum that was carried into it and a lot, a lot more mathematical formulas go into that. But is it fair to call it a high-speed chase? Uh, there, there was no chase uh, in, involved with or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know that the black SUV was directly chasing the other vehicle. I gotcha. just know that they were in an altercation prior. Uh, I don't have the details of from the time the truck left that scene to the collision if the uh, black SUV was still involved. I'm still waiting to get those details. Okay. Have any arrests been made in this? Will there be any arrests? The driver of the red truck. Uh, and, last I saw had been detained by police. Uh, he, he will be responsible for the collision and will most likely have charges forthcoming with that. But he's right now the victim of the other scene. Uh, so we're trying to piece all that together. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all so right, much. You're welcome. Thank you.